Hey everybody, I'm Tom Elliott with John Deere. And today, we're gonna show you how to remove snow using a snowblower attached to your tractor's three-point hitch. For this project, we'll be using a Frontier SB1174 three-point snowblower and a John Deere 4052M compact utility tractor. We're also using a D175 loader and a 73-inch materials bucket for balance and because they're two of the most useful tools you'll ever have around your place. We also added an iMatch quick hitch to our tractor, which makes hooking up our snowblower as easy as possible. After locking down the snowblower on the iMatch, make sure it's level front to back by adjusting the top link if necessary. Attach the PTO shaft to the tractor, close the driveline shield, and attach the safety chain. And adjust both skid shoes to provide about an inch of ground clearance to help protect the snowblower and the surface you're clearing. When you're on site and ready to start, adjust the chute to blow snow in the direction you want it to go and to make sure you don't blow snow into the wind. Then adjust the deflector angle for blowing snow the preferred distance. As you can see, this snowblower's auger and impeller can eat a lot of snow. But the key is maintaining a steady, moderate speed so the snowblower can handle all the snow you want removed without becoming overloaded. And when you're done, always, always, always clean out the auger, impeller, and chute thoroughly. Snow left in them can freeze and prevent the snowblower from operating properly at next startup, causing damage to the machine's internal parts. That way, when the snow starts falling on your property, you and your snowblower will be ready to go. Frontier has over 600 implements that are available only from your John Deere dealer a place to go for advice and equipment. So remember, for implements that help turn your tractor into the workhorse it was built to be, think Frontier and your John Deere dealer. <laughs>